this man, putting God first, allowing him to be your multiplier, putting God, Jesus in the center, Holy Spirit is the covering, God is the multiplier in your life, making your health a priority, making your family a priority, and prospering in business is going to transform your household. These, these blessings we just read are built for your household. They're going to pursue your household. If you'll just hold those things, know about them, surround yourself with good company, because we don't want that to corrupt the character that disqualifies people from the blessing, because you can run away from it all you want. Go for it. Or you can receive what Jesus died for. The entire point was that as it transforms your household, that it'll inspire other men. And it'll lead them to live that lifestyle and transform their household. And I have this quote where I was like, man, if you could change a house, you could change a city. And if you could change a city, you could change a state. And if you could change a state, you could change a country. If you change a country, you can change the world. And that we're going to consult every major world leader on how you guys transformed your household and how they should lead their country. And this 2017, right, my, our first, I had like a thousand followers, you know? So it was like, you know, a thousand leaders. And I, I truly believe that right here it just says, you shall lend to many nations, but shall not borrow. And I look at that and just think about real quick how big a nation is. You can Google the smallest nations. I just had done it before because I'm, this guy, I didn't get to fact check it yet, but this guy I was talking to yesterday, he was like, I think the smallest nation is like, th like 3 billion like GDP. You guys are called to lend to nations. What does that look like? And can this be your new standard? Not in a way where you, oh, I have to work so much harder and all. No, these guys all had the same amount of hours. Solomon had the same amount of hours in the day. He didn't even have IG. Cody going viral on reels. Didn't have any of that. Like, he didn't have the opportunity. If anything, like, we have way easier. Like, you got AI and software and, like, helpers all over the place, bro. Yet... These promises are from God. Let's make this, Deut this a Deuteronomy 28 meeting, a, a Deuteronomy 28 community where the standard in which we are commanding our life to live, the expectations we have for our life, that we're not allowing our environment or our current experiences to start shifting what we believe of life. But in one accord, as a brotherhood, coming together and saying, this is what God said. For those who are obedient. I love God. I want to be obedient. God, give us the strength to be obedient. Make us right. Wash us away based on what you did. And have us enter in to what you have promised. Have these blessings relentlessly pursue us. Where you put us high above the nations of the earth. That the blessings would overtake us. You'd bless us in the city and in the country. And that you'd have us... Be so prosperous that you shall lend to many nations. It even said, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, then all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you, is what it says here. But right before that, they shall see that you're called in the name of the Lord. Like through walking this out, it didn't say, because you yell it or talk about it or because you preach about it, it's like, no, as you do this, everyone will see that God's with you. And I'm sure for a lot of people, that is scary. I mean, shoot, people in the world right now get FOMO if they just miss a, a, a hangout. Like they start freaking out that they're falling behind if they just miss a call. Like if they just don't work on the weekend. Like, of course these homies are gonna be afraid. You are out there being obedient to God, being blessed by God because of what he said, not because of anything, nothing to do with you, bro. Like, doesn't matter who wants to receive it. God is willing to dish it out. And you're lending to nations and not even having to borrow from them. Bro, I would be freaked out too.